what up my fellow virgos welcome back to magenta tarot messages we're going to be doing an energy reading seeing how the people around you view you currently i've already shuffled this and you already know what it is so let's just begin i'd like to thank everybody for those likes comments subscribes booking those personal readings with me and just being here and giving me your good energy all right virgo let's tap in See what your peers, see what your friends, see what your family is thinking of you at this time. I would like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, booking those personal readings with me. And just being here and giving me your good energy. Okay, let's see what else comes out for you, Virgo's energy. How do people around Virgo see them view them at this time okay so the first cards that came out was simping and sprung <laughs> okay so somebody could see that you are simping or sprung over someone or something here um okay so you could be dating somebody that you're really into okay or you could have gotten really into a person recently and people know about it um then we have studying you could be studying something virgo watching something virgo people could see you as a scholar as a knowledge person or somebody who seeks knowledge um always reading got your head in the book type of energy you could be trying to figure out something at this time virgo or that somebody is sprung on you and they're studying you <laughs> i'm picking that up heavy we got still dating and keeping options open so virgo people see that you are still dating okay you have open options you have multiple options here you're out there having fun okay so that's the energy so far then we got order in virgo so people see that you have something in order or you're trying to do something by an order. You're very meticulous, Virgo. You have um, steps that you like to take in dating, love, studying your life here. There's things, there's rules that you like to live by in order to keep order in your life. Right. With the harmony card, people see that this is bringing you harmony. Six going in the seven this is progression for you. All right. In Libra energy. So I feel like people think you're in harmony at this time. Then we have choices again in Libra. So people feel like you're making choices at this time to keep your life in harmony and in order. And then we have assertion in Aries energy. Okay, so we have 6771. Those numbers may be significant to you in some type of way. But there's somebody out here that is viewing you as... <laughs> Sprung on the person that you're dating and studying something, studying how to keep your life in harmony, studying how to make the right choices to assert yourself, to assert, assert harmony into your life. So this isn't this isn't bad. OK, this isn't bad so far. I'm loving the energy. People around you have a, a pretty. Like mild image of you. I don't see anything going too deeply. So I don't see like anybody having hard feelings about you at this time but let's hop into the heart the tarot see what see what comes out in the tarot all right i'm just gonna pull from the top two of wands the five of pentacles the ten of pentacles and the four of wands the strength card and the hanged one all right, you have some type of future plans here, Virgo. This is what you could be studying for. People feel like you have future plans. This is what this order energy could be about. You have future plans to either leave somebody out in the cold or go from um, a lacking point to a financially stable point. So people in your life are seeing that you are making decisions, making choices to level up, to get in a different place, to get into more of a stability point at this time, Virgo. With the Nine of Wands and the Strength card here, people could uh, think that you've gotten hurt, okay? 
Nine of Wands energy is wounded. It's somebody who has boundaries, somebody who has gone through something, right? Um, and with the strength card, that may have you hold back from something or someone, or it may play into your strength. So if people can see that you're taking your wounds and learning from it, right? Um, and gaining a level of strength and fortitude from this and courage from this. No longer will you be hurt by the same things, Virgo. No longer will you make the wrong choices. You're taking that pain and turning it into lessons here. With the hanged dragon, it's the same things, the same energy of being enlightened about something. Enlightened in a way that you'll no longer view things from a certain point. You're not hurt over anything. And those are just lessons, right? With the moon card and the chariot, it's been illuminated, Virgo, or you have been moving in secret, okay? You could be moving in secret. People could view you as secretive. Um, people could view you as intuitive. Your intuition could be telling you to move. Or you've just been making some type of move in secret here, Virgo. Moves in secret. I feel like you may have been in a little bit of hermit mode here. Um, hiding yourself, disguising yourself at this time. Um, staying in the house type of energy. Okay, Nine of Swords in the Seven of Cups energy is being worried over having multiple options or being worried over illusions. Or worry and depression is making you go towards different choices. And this is why you're moving in secret. Somebody feels like... This is how you keep your life in order. You study your choices. You study the outcome. You study if it gave you harmony or not. You study if you can um, figure out a way to order, fix things, and then assert yourself in a different way. So I feel like this is why you're moving in a, in a secretive energy, Virgo. People are looking at you as someone who may be moving because of fear moving because of outcomes that didn't work for you or things that you needed to avoid, people that you needed to avoid. There could have been an energy that made you feel like you had to move in silence. With the Seven of Cups and the Princess of Swords, I feel like you are learning, studying multiple things at this time or doing multiple things at this time. You have a lot going on as this energy here. Somebody is viewing you as somebody who has multiple choices, multiple options, multiple things that you need to get in order multiple choices that need to be made to assert happiness and harmony back into your life here with the three of cups somebody is also seeing you as the three of cups and the lovers okay um having lots of, uh, of love options here virgo or somebody who is a friend somebody sees you as a friend somebody they could gather with okay um, they're also seeing you party. So they're seeing you have fun in some type of way. I know partying doesn't even like sound right for a Virgo, a Virgo at a party, <laughs> maybe a birthday party. Um, but it's the energy of you may be like uh, going out, gathering, being outside, having fun type of energy here. With the lovers and the queen of pentacles, you do have multiple choices in love. There are multiple people out on the board for you in love here. Okay, so there could be some past people still lingering in your energy while you are keeping your options open and dating other people. That could be multiple scenarios, Virgo. You could just be talking, all right? And people like, oh, they dating. They saw you out on a date. Ooh. Um, that's that type of energy I'm getting with the queen of Pinnacles and the four of pinnacles here. Somebody views you as someone who either works from home or your work, your job, and your family life is very significant. It's what you hold on to tightly. You have a grip on your work life and your home life and your family life. That's what you cherish. That's what you hold around. That's what you hold on to, Virgo. That's what you focus on. Someone could also view you as you impulsively going towards new lovers here. Okay, you could have um, impulsively went towards an emperor and had to 
change up, okay, and had to dump this person and get back on alignment, or get back in alignment. You could have impulsively had a new love with an emperor. Um, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a father figure in some type of way, or someone who owns their own business, a sh uh, someone who has a structure, or just a, like a plain divine masculine energy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what I mean by you have to get your life back in order. Um, with the Seven of Wands, you could be blocking this person at this time. Okay, you could be blocking this person at this time. You could be protecting yourself from a lover here. We have the two of wands, the five of pentacles, the lovers, and the seven of wands. Somebody views you of having future plans on moving in secret or making secret choices to block people out. That sounds like a Virgo to me. Keep all your moves secretly here. The five of pentacles, the chariot card. The Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Some type of lack. You could have been going through some type of lack of your Virgo. Either that's isolation financially, physically, or mentally that you needed to move away from to get back into your Queen of Pentacles energy. Knight of Pentacles, this could have taken you some time to do so. You could be worried about... Holding back from your family. But with the Ace of Swords, it's ultimately bringing you some type of breakthrough, some type of success here. All right, but you're blocking someone here. With the Seven of Pentacles, this could have been a long time coming. Or it could have taken you a while to make this successful and have a new beginning here. Three of Swords and the King of Swords. could have um, dated somebody who recently got their heart broken, Virgo. But there's a new opportunity with a person that is heartbroken or you have broken their heart. Or somebody is viewing you as going towards new opportunities because of heartbreak and needing to control your life. So if you've recently gone through a heartbreak, a breakup, something here, people are viewing you as stepping up and asserting your energy and getting your life in order to... <laughs> Because of a breakup, because of something that may have ended terribly. Ten of Swords, the Death card, the King of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Five of Swords here. Okay. There could be a King of Swords in your energy, Virgo. Uh, with, the King, with the Ten of Swords and the Death card here, there is definitely something that ended, and it may have ended badly. With the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Or just somebody who is cold, calculated in their head here. Virgo, very analytical. There was an ending with this person. Five of Wands and the Four of Swords. And there is conflict about home. There's conflict about um, some type of support structure. Celebration. Or somebody you had a contract with in some type of way. The Five of Swords and the Five of Wands coming out for this person. There is definitely still conflict lingering between you two. Before I go, I feel like uh, with the Ten of Swords and the Death card, you ended this conflict, but somebody still has conflict with you and what you're choosing to do with your home and what you're choosing to do in your home. But ultimately, this is leading you towards calmer water. Yeah, you're asserting yourself over your choices. All right, making healthy choices that will bring you harmony and moving in a way that will benefit you and your family. Okay, there is also somebody who wants to get into calmer water about with you, Virgo. They view you as somebody they put in a lot of investments in. They worked hard for something here, Virgo. They... Either they feel like they worked hard or they want to work hard. To have a partnership or to pair up or to collaborate with you in some type of way. Somebody sees you walking away from them as a betrayal. <laughs> or 
or you have moved into calmer water due to spiritual wisdom telling you that you need to work hard on walking away from a relationship that was betraying you either or there's the energy of you separating yourself from somebody and, and it being seen as a betrayal on your part or theirs Virgo, you getting success, all right? You having success, you walking away successfully is like gaining victory for you, all right? It's, it's succeeding for you. It's bringing harmony into your life. Like I said, Nine of Cups is bringing you back emotional stability. With the Princess of Cups here, um, I do feel like the Nine of Cups plus one more is the Ten of Cups. So it's, it's happy home. Your children are happy. Your life is happy. There's the energy of... Um, bringing harmony back into your family life here and you working hard to do so independently with the devil card here somebody could view this as toxic they could view you as toxic because you're only given to yourself here virgo you're wanting to do something alone here. Somebody does not agree with your choices. But ultimately, it is giving you what you need to turn your back and heal from something. Make positive choices and bring the spark back into your life. It's automatically manifesting good news. All right. You're finding more balance in your hermit energy. With the king of cups going over the queen of cups, I feel like you're balancing your masculine and feminine energy. That is causing a lesson to be learned, completions to be had. And with the Nine of Pentacles, it's the energy of <laughs> living out the fruits of your labor while being single and sufficient, Virgo. So this is what I got here for the Virgos. People view you as somebody who may go in and out of love situations quickly. <laughs> Or um, you may get sprung over. You may have gotten sprung over somebody. You may have got caught up with somebody, Virgo. And then now you're studying how to keep your love options open and bring harmony into your life at the same time. How not to let love mess up your life. Um, never again will you allow an emperor or a masculine or a feminine, take it as it resonates, switch the rules as they resonate here, to disrupt your life in a way where you don't have harmony and peace anymore. Excuse me. Somebody is viewing you as making multiple choices in your life to move in silence, to gain back your stability and your peace. People may view this as a betrayal because you may be hanging out with some people while excluding others. They also see you as intuitively guided to do so. You may be getting messages, spiritual messages that people don't understand in hermit mode where with the moon, your intuition, with the queen of cups, intuition again. So people may view you as somebody who makes moves out of spiritual wisdom. This is what I got here for you, Virgo. People are viewing you in, in an okay way. There is somebody out here who has beef and conflict with uh, all your decisions and whatever you want to do, but I'm not focusing on them. <laughs> this is what I got here for the Virgos. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.